I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to the city elders of the Tulsa metropolitan area across the state of Oklahoma and across the United States of America. I want to share a quick verse with you before I give you three very important announcements. First of all, most of us are acquainted with uh, Paul's words to the Philippian church while he was in jail, actually, uh, writing to the believers there, be anxious for nothing. Or be careful, the King James says, be careful for nothing, meaning don't have anxiety, overwhelmed with care, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the God of all peace shall keep your heart and your mind through or by Christ Jesus. And so the antidote to anxiety is in those verses. Don't worry, pray. But there's a verse just before that that's very insightful. The reason I'm talking about this is because our culture right now, America, seems to be overwhelmed with anxiety. Anxiety. People are fearful. People are uh, living in dread, um, fear of a virus, fear of death. Um, the child of God need not fear. Perfect love casts out fear. But also an awareness of the manifest presence of God, the indwelling presence of the living Christ, should cause and does cause you to live above or without anxiety. But um, the King James in the verse just previous to uh, be anxious for nothing says, let your moderation be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. And some people interpret that, that Jesus is coming back soon. <laughs> but uh, the Greek word ingus means near you. It's in proximity. Christ is with you. He is the hope of glory. And so let your moderation, it means gentleness, your self-control, your controlled spirit. You know, if there's anything that stands out to me in the life of Christ, it's his poise. He doesn't get his feathers ruffled. He doesn't become anxious. The disciples are fretful. Don't you care that we're about to perish? And uh, the Lord is like, where's your faith? You don't have to worry. I told you, get in the boat and cross to the other side. The child of God should be living in solemnity, in, in a, a spiritual acquiescence, just a peacefulness. He's the Prince of Peace. And let your moderation, your gentle spirit, your, your controlled spirit be evident to everyone. The Lord is near. The Lord is with you. God's with you. You need not fear anything or anyone. And so please forgive me for taking a few moments. I try to keep these as brief as possible, but I like to at least complete the thought. I hope that you're not living in fear. I trust that you're trusting in the Lord with all your heart not leaning on your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge him. It's talking about the word Lord, capital L-O-R-D, capital O, capital R, capital D. Yahweh, the ever-present, self-existing God, the eternal God, your Father, is with you. Jesus said he will never leave you. I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. And if Christ be present, then we need not fear. So let me give you a couple of really important announcements. First of all, this week, Dr. Ingrid Scope is going to be with us. I can't say enough about this physician, this daughter of our very own uh, Dr. Carl and Roberta Fansteel. Um, Dr. Ingrid is an 
OBGYN from the um, San Antonio area. She was appointed by President Trump to the research committee for the protection of life. She researches and writes for the Family Research Council in their publications and periodicals and in their documentation that's even used to present before the government. And she also herself presents just a couple of weeks ago, she was in front of the Ways and Means Committee in the, in, before the uh, United States Congress, the House, defending life. And uh, she knows the, the law, the latest legislation, the latest uh, judicial decisions. Uh, she does her homework. She's a student and a delightful person. And we're honored to have her. And I want you to hear her this Thursday. Um, today is the 18th. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Uh, 61. Don't have a good for 61. Come on now. Uh, <laughs> And so um, this Thursday, the see, 18, 19, 20, the 21st of October, Dr. Ingrid will be with us. So don't miss that. And then the next Thursday, October the 28th, uh, we will have John Harris with us. He is the author of, um, uh, he's a podcast leader, a lecturer, and he has written a very controversial book called um, social justice goes to church. Uh, he is uh, a graduate of Liberty University. He's uh, MDiv and MA in history. And so uh, he's going to be a great presenter. And his book has really caught fire in the United States, causing quite a stir. Social justice goes to church. He's going to be with us on the 28th. And then thirdly, our first Thursday banquet in November the 4th. Uh, our very own Oklahoma Attorney General, John O'Connor, will be our guest speaker. And I, I viewed his presentation in Oklahoma City at Oak Pack, and you're going to be blessed. This is a, a man a very unpretentious um, and uh, a man of prayer, a man of integrity, a man of God. And uh, so we're thankful to have an Attorney General in our state such as he and so, but you need to get registered. I believe we're going to fill up to capacity. So don't put your registration off. Register soon. If you are an organizational leader, let me encourage you to, uh, to purchase a table, a secure table. We brought the price back down. It was left up inadvertently uh, second month. Uh, it's down to $20, $22, uh, down to $22 right now. So we got the price the, brought the price back down to make it easier for everyone to attend. And so, uh, but I'm, I'm speaking to pastors, to organizational leaders, parachurch ministries, businessmen, and of course, civil government leaders. Um, uh, uh, purchase a table for, if you're a, a point person in one of our county seats, if you're a point person in uh, one of the political parties or the the uh, NGOs, non-government organizations, we want your organization to be represented at this meeting. It'll be well worth your time. Uh, and so you're going to be blessed that night. There's something special uh, going to be taking place. I sense it spiritually as well as politically and uh, uh, culturally. Spiritually, I believe there's going to be something significant take place in this meeting, and I don't want you to miss it. So intercessors, there are several of you that are, um, are intercessor leaders of organizations. Uh, get a table. Uh, secure your table quickly, uh, because I do believe we're going to uh, be full. And there's a little promo. I'll send you a link to this, this link. This promo link will also be in our email. Be checking your email, because you get a, a fore glimpse into what's coming up. Uh, we send out an update every week, uh, either on Monday, Tuesday, sometimes as late as Wednesday, but mostly, usually Monday or Tuesday. And so the, right after this video, there's going to, connected with it, there's going to be a, a two-minute promo um, for John O'Connor. And you can use it. I'll send you the link, and you can send it to a friend. You can send it to another leader. So God bless you. Um, we're so encouraged. Uh, God is is uh, expanding our borders, lengthening our cords, strengthening our stakes, um, making our platform of influence and spheres of influence larger. 
and uh, we together are going to shift this state toward righteousness. It's already taking place, and uh, the patriots are rising. The people of God are arising. Arise, shine. Darkness upon the earth and gross darkness upon the people. But arise, shine. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Bless you. Love you. See you this Thursday with Dr. Ingrid Scope. See you then. American civil liberties and religious freedom are under attack right now, like never before in the history of this great nation. Every day, your values, your faith, freedom, and even your family are systematically attacked by this administration. Our forefathers had incredible insight and foresight to design a constitutional republic capable of withstanding the temporary abuse of tyrants. But it cannot go on forever. It is in times like these we need strong local leadership in our cities and states. And fortunately for Oklahoma, our chief lawyer and lead defender was prepared for such a time as this. Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor is a man armed with a biblical worldview. He is committed to constitutional conservatism, protecting the life of the unborn, defending religious freedom and civil liberty protecting our children from Marxism and perversion. He is dedicated to exalting Christ in our culture. City Elders hosts Attorney General John O'Connor, Thursday, November 4, 6.30 p.m. at the Tulsa Marriott. Registration is required at cityelders.com.